This is a film about that scale and grandeur. This is a film about that military achievement. This is a film about a people who for all time shattered the legend of Nazi invincibility. This is a film about victory and defeat. German victory and German defeat. This is the battle for Russia, a battle that has been going on for centuries, a battle that fills the pages of Russian history. 1242. The German order of Teutonic Knights had invaded northeastern Russia and occupied the old city of Pskov. Under the leadership of their Grand Master, von Bach, they threatened to enslave the whole population of that area, including the capital, Novgorod. In their hour of peril, the Russian people turned for leadership to their prince, Alexander Nevsky. And on April the 5th, 1242, on Lake Papus, the Russians met the might of the German forces. was a flaming courage, a flame so fierce that it pierced the German army. The victory they won fills a bright page of Russian history. 1704, and another conquering army marched across Russian land. This time under Charles XII of Sweden, and again, the Russians fought for their country. Led by their emperor, Peter the Great, after five long years of war, they defeated the Swedes in the historic Battle of Poltava. The invading Swedish armies were crushed and forever driven out of Russia. 1812. Napoleon and his armies had blazed their triumphant way across Europe and were marching on Moscow. The conquering armies entered the city, but they entered a city in flames. Even in that day, Russian earth was scorched earth to an invader. And once again, the invader was forced to start the long march on the road back out of Russia. 1914, and another German army. This time under Kaiser Wilhelm set out to conquer Russia. This time, the Russian people under the regime of the Tsar were not only fighting German guns, but oppression and corruption in their own country. And only the ultimate collapse of Imperial Germany saved Russia from losing the Ukraine and the Crimea, which the Germans had occupied in 1918. Yes, for 700 years, the Russian people have had to fight to defend their land against would-be conquerors. Why? Why have all these attempts been made to conquer Russia?
Perhaps Russia itself can provide the answer. Here it is, one-sixth of the Earth's surface, reaching from east to west nearly halfway around the world, and southward from the North Pole to the borders of India. One country of nine million square miles. That's our own country three times over, or all of North America and a million square miles to boot. The sun never sets on Russia. When it is dusk on its western borders facing Europe, it is already dawn on its eastern borders facing the Pacific. That's Russia, or to be correct, the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. Deep in its mountains lie thick, rich veins of gold and silver. Below ground lie enormous deposits of copper, tin, manganese and nickel, chromium and radium, sulfur and magnesium. Russia is rich in raw materials. Her forests cover millions upon millions of acres. One-fourth of all the lumber reserve in the world belongs to Russia. And as for fuel, there's coal, ton upon ton. And more important, there's also oil. 213 million barrels a year of it. Black gold flowing from the earth that contains 55% of the world's oil. What else? Iron? Russia has better than 10 billion tons. That can make a lot of steel before it's done. Yes, Russia is rich. Her farms cover millions upon millions of acres. The rich black earth that besides giving forth oil and coal will also grow everything from sunflowers to lotus. The tea her people drink in such huge quantities and the tobacco that they smoke. Cotton grows here too. 3,800,000 bales a year and sugar. And on the pasture land, the animals grow fat for food and wool for clothing. While on the warm plains, the fields of grain stretch as far as the eye can reach. Corn, oats, hops, rye, and don't forget wheat, one third of the world's best. Yes, Russia is very rich. For it has not only raw materials and the products of its soil. Russia is also people. <laughs> Ninety-three million people. People of every race, color, and creed. People coming from the many different republics that comprise the Soviet Union. People speaking more than a hundred different languages. But all citizens of one country. Russians, the descendants of the first settlers of this vast area, and for a thousand years its main population. Or Cossacks, the famous horsemen from the open plains of the Don River Valley. Whether they come from the southwest, the Ukraine, breadbasket of the Soviet Union lived the Little Russians, better known as Ukrainians, and beside them the Moldavians and Bessarabians. Or if they come from the far south, between the Caspian and Black Seas, where we find the Armenians and the Georgians, the Ingush, the Cherkas, rugged as the high peaks of their native Caucasian mountains.
whether they are Uzbeks, Turkmen, Kyrgyz, from the Persian and Indian frontiers, or Mongols. Tartars, the Buryats, the Yakuts from far beyond the Ural Mountains, or the people of the ice country, hunters like the Zounds, or settlers like the Laplanders, whether they come from the pioneering wilderness of the far north, or from a great city like their capital, Moscow, where the ancient buildings of an ancient civilization stand beside the modern structures of a modern civilization, where the old Russian droshka still competes with the modern limousine. Whether they work in factories or as soldiers, whether they are bricklayers for traffic cops, sailors or riveters, school children or farmers, nurses or engineers, window washers or sales girls, housewives or postal clerks, radio announcers or stewardesses, scientists or typists, musicians or ballerinas. Regardless of what they do or where they live, they all have one thing in common, love of their soil. That is Russia. Size, the largest country in the world. Raw materials, unlimited. Manpower, 193 million. These are the three reasons why every conqueror in history has wanted Russia. And these are the reasons... <laughs> Fish, yeah, yeah, and then he fish, yeah, yeah, and then he ha, ha, ha.